Now let's look at another interesting intermuscular space in the thigh. This one's called the adductor canal. Proximally, it is continuous with the femoral triangle. In fact, the apex of the femoral triangle, or at the apex of the femoral triangle, the femoral triangle becomes continuous with the adductor canal. The adductor canal occupies the medial aspect of the distal two-thirds of the thigh. Let's have a look at its boundaries. The adductor canal is also often described as the subsartorial canal because the sartorius muscle overlaps the roof of the adductor canal. So I'm going to move the sartorius out of the way, but before I do that, let me just identify the apex of the femoral triangle for you. You will recall that the apex of the femoral triangle is where the sartorius muscle crosses the adductor longus. And at the apex of the femoral triangle, the femoral triangle becomes continuous with the adductor canal. So what I'm going to do now is to retract the sartorius laterally, bringing into view both the apex of the femoral triangle and the commencement of the adductor canal.